Number five asks us to verify this identity. Secant theta minus tangent theta quantity squared is equal to one minus sine theta divided by one plus sine theta. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna look at the left side of this. We're gonna try to simplify that down and see if we can't make it look like the right side of the equation. Um, so the first thing I wanna do, just looking at the left side of this, is I wanna rewrite this as uh, secant theta minus tangent theta times secant theta minus tangent theta. Uh, so I haven't really done anything there. I'm just rewriting this. this. This quantity squared is just equal to that quantity times itself. Um, I just I rewrote it like that so that we can FOIL this and you can see where all these terms are coming from. So uh, secant theta times secant theta is secant squared theta. Secant theta times negative tangent theta is going to be negative uh, secant theta tangent theta and then negative tangent theta times secant theta well that's the same thing so let's combine those two we'll just get uh, two of those and then negative tangent theta times negative tangent theta is positive tangent squared theta all right so this is equal to uh, secant theta minus tangent theta squared we've just expanded out uh, this binomial. All right, so now um, we see secant squared and tangent squared. And so the first thing that I think of is, oh, we've got a Pythagorean identity that says that secant squared theta is equal to tangent squared theta plus one. Um, but a couple things with that. First, if we replace this secant squared with tangent squared plus one, it's not going to help us much because if we if we plug in a tangent squared plus one, we're just going to end up with two tangent squared, uh, and then plus an extra one. We've we haven't made this any simpler. Um, it would be nice if we had like a minus tangent squared. Then uh, that would just equal one, and we we would be getting simpler. Um, another thing is notice that what we're trying to get to is uh, it, one minus sine divided by one plus sine. We've got sine in there. So um, let's try to just replace, just make this entire expression um, in terms of sine and cosine. So secant squared is one over cosine squared minus uh, two times. Uh, Again, secant theta is 1 over cosine. And tangent is sine over cosine. And then plus tangent squared is sine squared divided by cosine squared. All right, so now look what's happened here. When we multiply this together, we get 2 times 1 times sine theta, so 2 sine theta over Cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine squared. And so we've got a common denominator already in all of these terms. We, our common denominator is cosine squared theta. So this is going to be equal to uh, 1 uh, minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared. And that's all over cosine squared theta. All right, now, um, now what I want to do is I want to factor this. Uh, we've got 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta. Now, that might not look uh, immediately like something that you want to factor, but think about this in terms of x. If, if this were an x instead of a sine theta, you'd have 1 minus 2x plus x squared. That is something that you would think you wouldn't, if you saw that, you would think, oh, I could probably factor that. So let's try to factor this. Um, so we'll just put a couple sets of parentheses here. Uh, to get one, we're going to need a one and a one. Um, to get a sine, 
uh, to get a sine squared, we're going to need a, a sine theta and a sine theta. Um, and the signs have to be the same in order for this to be positive. Um, and we know that the sign has got to be negative uh, in, order to, um, in order to get a negative here. And let's check to see if that really is, if these are really equal. Uh, if we foiled this, we get 1 times 1 is 1. Um, uh, minus sine theta, minus sine theta again, so minus 2 sine theta, um, plus sine squared theta. So that is, this is 1 minus sine theta quantity squared. But I'm going to keep it written like this um, for now. Um, and then this cosine theta, notice that we're getting really close here. We've got 1 minus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta, and we've got a 1 minus sine theta that we're trying to get to. This cosine squared, we can rewrite that as 1 minus sine squared theta. Now we're looking really close to, uh, to the end. Uh, let's factor this now, 1 minus sine squared theta. That is a difference of squares. 1 is a perfect square. Sine squared is a perfect square. And so we can factor that. Let's uh, keep the denominator the same. 1 minus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta divided by, um, and then when we factor this, uh, since that's a difference of squares, it's going to be 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. And now, notice that we've got a 1 minus sine theta on the, in the numerator, and we've got a 1 minus sine theta in the denominator. Those will divide to 1, and what we're left with is 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta, which is what we were trying to prove. All right, so that's number five.